Welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews, guys. Well, the new One UI update started rolling out to all Samsung Gear S3, Gear Sport, and Galaxy Watch users just recently, and I've already received a number of requests from viewers to create a video on this and asking whether they should actually update their software. Now, understandably, many users are cautious when there are any Tizen updates, as not all of them have been beneficial in the past or even functional for that matter, but so far this newest update has been bug-free for me, although I still still have one minor gripe about this update and I'm going to mention that just a little bit later on. First though, if you've not received a notification to update, you can always do this manually by opening your Galaxy Wearable app, then scrolling down to the About Watch area and then clicking on the Update Now option. If there is indeed an update available, then this is where you're going to be prompted to update and I definitely recommend that you do this over Wi-Fi as this is a fairly substantial update as it weighs in at over 100 megabytes. Okay, so now more about this update. Well, it isn't a brand new release for Samsung as it's actually the same interface that came preloaded on the Galaxy Watch Active, which was released a few months ago. Although this is of course brand new for users with previous Samsung smartwatches, such as the S3, the Gear Sport, and the Galaxy Watch. Now, a lot of the improvements have been in the health and activity area, both graphically as well as functionally. There's been a number of improvements with the graphics and those icons, particularly with this brand new daily activity widget, which is also very colorful and practical in terms of being able to see your stats more quickly and more easily. Plus there are some additional enhancements to include being able to turn the sleeping mode on or off, plus more sleep stats. There's more changes to the look of the S health screens, quicker tracking of workouts, including a new swimming tracker. And besides these health enhancements, there's also been improvements to the quick panel, as well as the setting menus. And again, the graphics have been upgraded, plus information has been reorganized so it's easier to find like functions. Overall, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Not that the previous icons or the previous interface was horrible, but I know that Samsung wants to maintain consistency with its interface, particularly for developers as they design new apps and watch faces. And this actually brings me to my own personal gripe about this. In the update, it states that new watch face designs will be available for download, which I find is an interesting piece to include considering the update actually didn't include any new UI watch faces at all. As I said, the Galaxy Watch was released with the One UI and it included newly designed faces for this interface. So I was kind of expecting at least a couple of those to be included in this large 115 megabyte update, but unfortunately there is nothing new to see here. Now this isn't a major downfall, but if you are stating in the update that you can now download new designs, you think they may have included a couple of samples. Anyways, at least for future watch faces, we should see some more interesting designs now that the core of Samsung smartwatches will be sharing the same interface. Okay, and the last item I wanted to mention in the update is that a battery optimization feature has been added, which in essence is really a macro which is going to optimize your battery life by changing a number of settings on the watch, including the following. You can turn off the watch always on mode, lowering the screen brightness to a number 5 setting, reducing your screen timeout to only 10 seconds, turning your Wi-Fi off, and turning off your touch wake up feature. Now these are the default settings, but there is a customization option where you can alter the levels of any of those settings that I just mentioned. But this really is the only added functionality in this update in regards to battery life. You really could have done these changes in the previous software too. The difference is that you have this macro now which will change multiple settings for you all at once. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, the Dancing Lightning Bolt is a new graphic that's appeared when you charge your watch now. Okay, so in summary, is it worth the upgrade? Well, I'm gonna say yes for this one because you will gain some added functionality as well as aesthetics and you should also have more choice for watch faces now that developers have a single interface to work with and perhaps they'll even include more features on the displays for those added S health enhancements. All right guys, that's my take on the new One UI update. 
thanks again for watching the review and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care.